Hello commanders and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to mine or well farm for a uh, data mine wake exceptions. This is one of the hardest uh, data to get. I currently have 25 of them and I'm gonna try to do it at least to like 90 or 100 and uh, show you how fast I'm gonna get it. Look at the time on the top right corner. Time is not, has not started yet because I'm just explaining few things, but uh, okay. I'm already in the position where you get it from, but I will show you how to um, gain all that data. As always, we're going to use the Elite Dangerous database. We go to Attractions, and then we want to find um, Adaptive Encryptors Capture. I know it's not what we're uh, looking for, but uh, there's only one source for this. This is the best source for it, the only source for it, if you wanna just farm them. And this is the coordinates, this is very important. If you have not visited this, then you must uh, remember these coordinates, or well, just write them down or whatever. But this is the system, and that is the planet you are already seeing, I'm already here. It's somewhere in there, I believe. So let's just um, put up the frame shift drive and let's go. It should be right where I'm looking at, maybe a little bit up. Yep, there it is. However, I have to mention that uh, you're not able to see this, because uh, I have already been there and I have scanned the beacon, and this is why it appears, it also appears here. But uh, if uh, you have never visited this place before, then you don't have the marker. So don't like panic and say that it doesn't appear for you. Uh, you have to go there, like, Physically you have to go there and you have to scan the ship data core and only then and then only you can see the marker the way I see Right we are in the pipe We are going for um, these things adaptive encryptors capture that should go very fast I have already covered this on the video where I showed off my um, Phantom which is by the way amazing jump range ship almost uh, 75 light years so we're gonna go and land in there and then I will show you what to do all right when you are landing you want to get close but not too close because uh, you still need to use your SRV and you don't want the SRV turret to you know uh, go in because it's too close to the ship so somewhere here should be fine why is it unsuitable I've landed here before what does it want? Okay, whatever. This will do just fine. Alright, so once we are in the SRV, then the first thing you want to do is uh, scan the ship data core, which is um, right there. I can't re-scan this because I have already scanned this, as you can see. But once you scan it, then the marker will show up, so you can see the marker the way I can see it. Otherwise you can't see it. Uh, so next we're gonna go somewhere in here. This is the best place I believe and then we're gonna scan these things As you saw I only had one of these uh, data things whatever it was called adaptive encryptors uh, something Then the next one is here. I Believe this is the most effective way of doing it Then the third one is there. Okay, a little bit too far away see or maybe the canisters was in the way but we're gonna scan that one and then we'll scan that one I don't think you can uh, be in a place where you can scan all four of them but uh, it doesn't matter you can move while you scan right and once you've scanned them I'm dragging it out a little bit in here but uh, as you can see I already got nine so once you're done with that then you simply do the logout trick and then we just log back in it doesn't matter where you go. I would recommend uh, solo play. And then we start again by scanning that one. By that time the turret is already out. We're gonna scan that one. See I can move while I'm scanning so no time wasted. Then we scan this one. And the last one. And then you just keep repeating it until the um, data is full, that adaptive uh, blah blah blah. Just look at the time on the top right corner. I'm gonna keep doing this until it's full. And then I will tell you what to do with it. And here we are. It's uh, full. So let's look at the time. Uh, about 
seven minutes seven eight minutes something like this i was dragging it out just a little bit you know you could uh, probably go oh what the heck you can probably go a little bit faster but come on it's just uh, splitting hairs so anyway back to the ship all right the journey is not over yet i can already take off just to save time I mean, I can probably take a couple of minutes off it, you know, at the end of the thing, but uh, anyway. I'm gonna just go fly out. Get off the planet. Alright, and now we can um, use the overlay and I will show you what to do next. So, the first thing is to uh, check the material traders. You need to know uh, which one you need. We need the encoded material trader, which is in high-tech and military economies. Military doesn't even exist, by the way, so just the high-tech ones. I mean, the military exists, but the uh, material trader in the military economy doesn't exist. I already checked, but uh, okay, anyway. I have already done this. You just insert the material trader in here economy high-tech if you take military and search there you go no results so that's why i said it doesn't exist right and i am going into this system i have already done this before so copy this and that's all we need so while we are flying we can go into this uh, map in here i keep forgetting that they have changed this it was a lot better in the horizons we plot the route in here and um off we go. This is why you should do this while you're already flying off the planet. Then you can just quickly jump. Because sometimes it's, you know, blocked by the planet or something. But um, anyway, I'll see you in that station. And also, if you're asking why I took this system in here, not the first one, which is a little bit um, less distance, it's because it's only five light seconds away from the sun, which uh, pays off, you know. Even if you have to make one jump more, it still takes less time to just fly 5 light seconds rather than flying like 500 light seconds. That's gonna take you um, a lot longer. And also if you want to see my amazing uh, Phantom, which has uh, almost 75 light year um, jump range, then check in the description guys. I have entire video on this amazing ship and also how to get it. Right, and once we are in the station, let's go into the material trader. And we're gonna trade in... Uh, wait, we want this one, I had 25 before, and we want to trade in the one we just mined, so... Trade in as much as you can, you get 16 of them, and there you go, trade in. And now I have 41. Wait, yeah, I got 16, so... Now you need to uh, repeat this few times. So it took me uh, roughly about 15 minutes to get 16 of those uh, wake things. Let's call it 15 minutes uh, for 15, so that's uh, one per minute. So in order to get 100 of them, it's gonna take you roughly about 100 minutes, so... I mean, it's not too bad. I was first trying to do it with, the, you know, the wake scanner, that's why I have it uh, on this one. The, where is the frameshift wake scanner? But you just don't get anything. You can hover around the station for a long time and you don't get a single one. So, this is the best method, guys. I hope this helps and, well, I'll see you out there, commanders.